Once your joystick uh, becomes too difficult to use or you're exerting too much throughout the day, you, there are definitely other options from what we call a head array, which essentially has switches and you move your head to engage those switches to drive. There's also one in the back pad for driving. You also have light touch joysticks. So the typical force on a standard joystick is about 225 grams of force. So it can be pretty substantial to be pushing all day. And uh, there's different joysticks ranging from like 100 grams, 50 grams, all the way down to 10 grams, or even um, being able to operate using infrared or, or no force joysticks. So there's a, a myriad of options to keep people driving, which is fantastic. So additionally, um, some of the head arrays now, Stealth makes one called the iDrive, which can start out as a head control and can also be converted to something that we call link drive. So link drive could be used with just two switches running through the iDrive computer box and you press them both together and it will go straight. Take one off, it goes left, other off right. That can be utilized with knees, feet, um, whatever switch sites or, or volitional control sites that people have. We can still keep you driving. Foot control can be done. You can use a joystick at the foot uh, to drive or switches. Many, many different options. Sip and puff has been utilized. Uh, that's where you use your breath to drive. Typically not used often with ALS just because of some of the respiratory issues, but it can be used in conjunction with another switch uh, where you're using just a soft sip or a soft puff for directions. There's any number of ways to keep people driving and maintaining their independence now, which is great.